California at the Mario Morello Living Proof Tent Crusade. Yeah, Gene. Good to have you, Mario. And, uh, we finally get to meet. I know. We finally, this is the first time we, we met, met each other. electronically online. Yeah, that's true. We've had a long distance relationship. <laughs> and, and here we are. A uh, special welcome there back in the, uh, back there in Texas to uh, Lance Wanow. Omaha, Hank Kuhneman, glad you guys are here. We've got a great program hey, tonight. Awesome. Yeah, hey, uh, you know, so many things have been happening uh, here. Mario, I don't know, I've been watching the first yeah. two nights of this tent meeting. It's been amazing. God's really done some incredible things. Here. Well, the, the Lord, Lord has exceeded all mm -hmm. our expectations. We had 2,000 the first day, last night at least 1,200. And uh, we don't know how many have been saved, only God knows. But they tell me it's around 800 decision cards. And it's just getting started. Yeah. In fact, if you haven't seen the, what's been going on here at the Living Proof Tent Revival, take a look at this. We'll be right back. Proof, living proof, Mario Murillo. Mario, I know this has been a long time coming. There's been a lot of planning that's been going on for this meeting. Tell the people just what has led up to uh, the fruition of this meeting. Well, an unprecedented ground level of support. 600 people signed up, volunteered, flew in, and went on to some of the most needy streets in anywhere in America, here in Modesto brought in the drug addicts, the homeless. Today alone, we had a semi-truck full of food that went out into the neighborhoods. This is just one of a dozen outreaches we've done street level. And it's resulted in something that we pride ourselves in. Non-Christians come to our meetings. That's what we target. That's what God did. That's what you saw in the video. And uh, we're very grateful. The prayer, the power, one thing that's led up to it is the misery that leftist doctrine has done to Americans, and especially here in California. People are desperate, they're ready for revival, and behind me is sitting one of the scariest armies anywhere in the world, and they're ready to take California back for Christ. Yeah, amen, amen. You know, anytime you see salvations, you know, Mario, it seems like salvation call, altar calls, almost went away in the American church. The devil did something to the mind of preachers, made them think people don't want to come forward. Don't understand that more than ever, people want Christ. And it is, I learned a long time ago that no matter what, you give an altar call. I've given altar calls in pastor's luncheons, but I'll do it because even if no one comes forward, I got over that boogeyman, that no one comes forward. It becomes a human video, an absolute demonstration of how the need is. And you can tell the congregation, see, we gotta get busy, we gotta win people. But right now, people are, the fish are jumping in the boat today. I didn't see how God could do it, but I'm watching it now. And I have a late news bulletin for Satan. Revival was once a threat, <laughs> and now it's a reality. And we're here, and we're going to take back what he has stolen from this state. And let me tell you, the people that are under this tent right now, the hurting, the sick, the broken, the addicted, the homeless, you have a bank president might be sitting next to a homeless person. But everyone under this tent knows one thing. The presence of God is here. The secret weapon is, is that when Billy Graham preached in the 50s and he worked with Eisenhower, to restoring God we trust is our national motto. 
We didn't have the prophetic flowing like we have now. We didn't have the weapons of, that we have now. God raised up Flashpoint. Thank God for Kenneth Copeland. I'm not flattering. I'm speaking to the man from my heart to his. Thank God for the Victory Channel because it came right at a unique hour. And Brother Copeland, like he always does, pioneers a new path. Everyone says, you can't do that, it's impossible. You can't buy that, you can't have that. And he said, I'm gonna do it. And by getting out of the Christian television ghetto, and I'm gonna get in trouble for saying that, but I'm gonna say it. By leaping from the Christian television ghetto and blazing a new path, look at what God has done. We are now forming a coalition that's uniting millions of Christians behind one truth. America will be saved and California will be the vanguard to see it happen. Amen, amen. But what has happened is the veil between the natural and the supernatural has been ripped open. And now evil is front and center. What was once practiced in the secret rooms and in the back alleys is mainstream. And now the church, they have, we have no excuse. The, we, we can say like Paul, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the tearing down of strongholds because that's what we're facing. That's why this tent is full. See, the reason these people have come tonight is not because there's going to be a concert, there's going to be a, a, a message of self-assurance. It's because they want to be set free. They know that darkness is real and they want out. This is going to multiply. That's why the pastor who apologizes for spiritual warfare, the pastor who is too afraid to talk about true revival, true repentance, and the true move of God is gonna go like a dinosaur. They're gonna go, they're gonna literally be irrelevant and silenced. And, and I'm praying that they won't, that they'll listen now. Now is the time to speak out. And this is the living proof right here. Amen.